Looking over to the Eastern Air Netball Association now, where it is the first week of finals this weekend. And Christy Turnbull is joining me on the line to give us a recap of the last round of the season before we get into finals. How are you, Christy? Yeah, I'm going well this week. Thanks, Dan. Very good. Now, before we do recap the uh, games from the 15th and final round of the pre-finals portion of the season, uh, you had your medal count, the best and fairest count for the league last weekend as well. Yeah, we did. Yep. Um, so 100-odd uh, netballers ended up in Port Neil to celebrate our best and fairest over the association last Sunday, um, which is fairly early in the season, but due to our back-to-back finals coming up, we uh, we sort of can't fit it in anywhere else. So, um, yeah, just want to do a huge shout-out to um, our A-grade best and fairest winner, Zach Sampson from Centrally United, um, and runner-up Maddie Maitland from Kimber. So I think I've probably spoken about both of these uh girls over the season, but Beck Sampson still eligible for 17 and unders um, playing A-grade netball and yeah, obviously uh, just goes to show she's taking home the yeah, best and fairest and best under 21 um, so it just goes to show what an absolute superstar she is and will be um, and Maddie Maitland, solid defender for Kimber, uh, gets her hands to lots of balls and another well deserved um, yeah, medal runner up, medal for her there, so congratulations to those two and congratulations to all our other senior medal winners uh, that yeah from last weekend. Yes, well done to those girls. No surprise to see uh, the winner coming from Central Air United and the runner-up coming from Kimber Districts. They've been the two dominant teams all year, so some uh, very worthy reward for effort there for those girls and it reflects very well on their teams. And both of those teams had big wins on the weekend. Uh, let's start with the closer game, though. Central Air United beating Cal 63-53. to Now, Cal will have to be pretty happy with this. Their last game for the year, and they come within 10 goals of the top team who have only lost once for the season, and they also put up uh, their highest score for the whole season with 53 goals as well. Yeah, I think the Cowgirls should be very happy with going out uh, this season on that high note. It um, sounds like they came out strong. They really had nothing to lose against uh, Storm last weekend. And they got an early jump and they actually took a lead into the first uh, break. So it would have been a very exciting game to watch. But once Storm sort of settled back into the game and pegged that lead back and just managed to, to hold steady um, for the remainder of the game and take that 10-goal win. But, um, yeah, certainly uh, full credit to the Cowgirls. Uh, an amazing game to finish their season on. And um, I think I said last week that our ladders were were set, but had a cow got up um, over Storm, which they were very, very close to doing, uh, that would have changed the uh, four and five on our ladder potentially. So, um, yeah, unfortunately for Storm, an ankle injury to Abby Bruce um, early in that game. So hopefully uh, it's nothing too major and Abby can take the court again this weekend uh, for Storm in the second semi. But, Uh, Yeah, sounds like it would have been just a great game to watch there last weekend. Certainly does. So well done to Cal for finishing their season on a really positive note and certainly be hoping that Abby is okay for finals. You don't want to see injuries uh, right before the finals like that. It's not good timing at all, but a good win for the Storm nevertheless. And Kimber Districts uh, finished their regular season off with a big win over Port 62-18. to Very one-sided this one. Yeah, very one-sided. And, uh, look, it was just um, you're probably a little bit disappointing for the Ports girls to finish the minor round like that. But uh, full credit to Kimber. Look, they, they were just a classy get-up on the weekend. They hit the ground running. They kept a huge pace, a huge intensity, um, and, and just seemed to do everything right. And certainly wasn't that Ports necessarily played bad, but Kimber just didn't give them the opportunities to feed it into their goal ring, uh, to get it into their attack end. The Kimber girls just, yeah, they, they were just everywhere. The defensive pressure was amazing and they were able to capitalise on that and take a really solid win um, Yeah, in that game. So well done to them. So that is the end of the season, which is unbelievable to say because it really does just feel like the other day that we were previewing round one. <laughs> I know, it's a bit frightening to think that, yeah, we're about to kick off our finals campaign and we'll be all done and dusted in uh, in three very short weeks. Absolutely. Well, three weeks to go and they are the three biggest weeks of the season. So we've got a game on Saturday and Sunday this weekend. It's the top two playing off for a spot in the granny tomorrow. Central Air United playing Kimber Districts at Rudal. How do you see this one going, Christy? Yeah, look, this is going to be an interesting game. If Kimber played like they did last week, 
um, they're certainly uh, going to have a, a great chance at taking that easy road into the grand final. But um, look, Storm, with that injury cloud over Abby Bruce, they'll be hoping that uh, that all come, comes good this week and they've got her and their regular nine coming into this game. Um, but yeah, but, you know, both teams play at a high standard of netball. Um, they've had some really close games this season and a couple that have, you know, have gone either way and have changed midway through the game. One team has the lead and then the other team pegs back. And I expect that this weekend will be no different. It's going to be a fast-paced game. There's no doubt about it. Um, and, yeah, I, I, look, I wouldn't be surprised if Kimber do take the win. Um, they're very finals capable. They've played a lot of finals in there. Uh, over the years, they've, um, and they're going to want that spot in the grand final, and all both teams will, of course. But um, yeah, I just I think Kimber, after watching them last weekend, if they can continue that form this weekend, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they can just sneak over the line in a in a fairly tight game over the Storm Girls. All right, interesting one for a spot in the grand final there, and our other game on Sunday: Eastern Rangers and Ports playing at Cal. Now this one should be really intriguing as well. They played three times this year. Uh, Eastern Rangers won all three with margins of 13, 7 and 7 and Ports actually scored more uh, progressively in each game throughout the season so they certainly closed the gap uh, in each meeting against Eastern Rangers but they're going to be really tough to overcome Rangers. Yeah and Rangers have had the bye last weekend as well so you know they're rested um, and they'd be fully preparing themselves um, over the last couple of weeks to uh, play this semi-final and they'll they'll want that next opportunity to progress um, to the prelim and have a crack at the big dance at the end of the year. But, look, Ports haven't made it easy for them. Rangers have got the wins on the scoreboard, but like you say, Ports are closing the gap. Uh, Ports have won a couple of the quarters um, during the game. You know, la- last time they met, I think they had a... A seven, they were 14 down at the three-quarter break and end up only losing by seven. So it, they are very, the Ports girls are very capable. They'll be fairly um, determined, I think, after that big loss to Kimber to regroup and to really um, play the game that they have been working on all season as they come into this final. So we know finals can do funny things. Our Rangers are, are probably a lot more um, experienced at finals netball than the Ports girls, but um, that, whether that works in their favour or not, um, and, and, you know, the confidence of having won the last three meetings uh, could, yeah, could, could put Rangers in a in a good spot, but it might also work against them. So, look, I, I'm going to go with my heart. I actually think the Port Skills have got it in them to take the win uh, this weekend against Rangers and progress to the prelim. Um, but I certainly think, again, this is going to be a great game to watch, and I'm, I'm really excited. All right. The tip is in for Ports. That is going to be a thriller. It's going to be a great weekend as the finals kick off in the Eastern Air Netball Association. Good luck to everyone involved tomorrow and on Sunday. Christy, enjoy, and we'll chat to you next Friday. Yeah, thanks, Dan. We'll talk to you then.